All right, so I'm at the Lantern Festival, Denver Lan Water Lantern Festival to be specific with a couple of friends and my sister's gonna be here too. So we're gonna be doing videos, of course, uh, food reviews and whatever else is going on. So hope you enjoy the event. Now we're gonna be going, checking out the food trucks, see what they have in the way of food from the food trucks. <laughs> <laughs> And then what? And then what? And then what else? I mean, we gotta find a spot we can camp and put our yeah. lanterns together, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> food truck. Very overpriced pizza from a food truck. <laughs> so hopefully it's worth it. Um, I have a food review. It's, it's, yeah, I yeah. I'm having a brain fart, as you can tell. It's too hot out. <laughs> I got from that pizza place. I don't remember the name of what the pizza place was, but. It is a, okay, so I'm, I'm not gluten intolerant or anything like that, but I went with the gluten-free pizza just because the lady who was doing the pizza made it sound like she was trying to sell it. So I was like, okay, that's pretty nice. You can't tell I took a little bit of a bite out of that um, before I started the video. I was like, oh yeah, I almost forgot. I need to do my pizza review now. Pizza's actually really good. So yeah. Okie dokie. Well, this is going to be the review of the lantern pack here. So you get when you get your lantern pack you get some coupons for uh with minimum purchase of something or other scavenger oh that scavenger hunt thing oh. it did this last year too yeah. and looks like there's two things here i can't seem to get the other uh, i hate pages that stick together yeah it's just two separate coupons that they have so i'll just stick that over there and there's a steak but it's not a jalapeno on a stick. It's just a stick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a little candle, a battery-operated candle. So you flip this switch, and it flickers like a candle, even though it's not a real candle. It's actually pretty bright too. You can see it in really well at night, and we'll show that once it gets dark out. A deck of cards. Lantern, water lantern festival. You cannot change the, change the cards we get dealt just how we play hand. What? <laughs> Hang on a second. Just stop going up in the air. Now what I'd like you to do is to take your phone and send at least one message to someone. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Send them warm wishes. Let them know that you appreciate them, that you miss them, that you love them. Let's do this right now. If we do this as a group, we can send out thousands of messages right now in the next couple minutes and make a big impact. So again, think of someone, send them a message, and let them know that you love and are thinking about them. It'd be cool to do that at night, so that way you could see all the phones glowing, you know? Right, yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. Okay, sorry for that interruption. Okay, so <laughs> we're back, back to it, right? And this, we also have... Uh, Great conversations create great relationships. These cards are engaging questions, inspires a conversation that creates lasting connections. Uh, these cards are perfect for date night or friend group or family time, guaranteed to help you discover something new about your friends and family and yourself. And it has that on the other side. So, there's that. That would make a really nice design for a tarot deck, wouldn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. And this. And I got a wristband right here and this music is probably gonna you know copyright strike my videos but i've been demonetizing my videos anyway so it doesn't really matter <laughs> so <laughs> finally got tired of youtube you know so i just decided to demonetize my channel of my own free will but all right so then there's more steaks and there's no jalapenos on these steaks either and this is the lantern shroud so this is a four corner piece of paper that's folded up and it's waterproof so that's the thing you decorate i brought colored markers for that uh this thing right here i don't know what this is i think it's just a uh you know water conservation thing and the smallest sharpie in the world <laughs> for drawing on your lantern i got a blue one last year yeah i'm i'm, mar I'm I got red on me. Shaun of the Dick. Caught red handed. A what? Caught red handed. <laughs> caught red handed. What were you? I thought you said caught a red head. But yeah, I got. Re I have red on me. 
because of Shaun of the Dead. You know, have you ever seen that one? Yeah, he's... I can't hear you. What? And then, that's on the other side for the uh, thing. So that's kind of like how it looks okay. at night. Okay, so I'm going to be going ahead and decorating my lantern. Not sure what I'm going to do this time. Last year I did uh, Helltaker characters and Agent Ica characters. This year, I'm not too sure what I'll do. I'll think about it. We'll see. It might... Oh, it's starting to get away. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating this thing and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. Here's my rubber ducky decoration. Okay, so there's a few things about this I wanted to point out. Uh, yes, if you guessed, it is all Doctor Who themed. Alright, so let's take a look at the ducky. So he's got glasses on. I might, make, I might make them sunglasses, I haven't decided yet. He's got a fez. Why? Because fezes are cool. Uh, oh, he needs a bow tie. Um, you know what? Bow tie. See if we can do it. Let's do a red one. Uh, I don't know if I can do this while I'm recording or not. You know what? I don't think I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the draw. Color it in later. They won't be able to do it. There we go. And then I'll color it in later on. I'll take a picture and I'll show you how it looks when he's done. But there you go. There's the outline of a bow tie. Fezzes and bow ties are cool. Alright, he's a, he's a TARDIS drawing too. But anyway, so he's got the bad wolf on there. Says he's quackier on the inside. Kinda. Got uh, another YouTube channel you also check out, Vi Lovestein. Uh, a lot of like interesting, like, it's mostly like it's anime type style art and stuff, but it's, it's good, you know. You check it out. It's Insta and YouTube. And then you got uh, Tin Dogs Are Cool and Canine on that. And then that's the uh, Denver Lantern Fest. And I scribbled out what was written on there. All right, there we go. Well, so I've got uh, one panel so far. Also, if the video looks kind of dark, it's just my action cam, it does that. It's a weird thing. But yeah, there's the, the rubber duck. Okay, so the rubber duck, he came from Fried Fest and he was hunkering down inside my backpack. So this guy's gonna go out on the lake too, but I, he needs to be decorated first, and I'll figure out like something. I mean, I might draw glasses on or something. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, there's a, and start drawing this side or coloring this side, and then I'm gonna do something with the other sides. This is the next one I've got. I'm doing a like a elf uh, inspired by Starfish Face, or uh, Ghost Sub, and then of course my elf. I, I wonder if it's make this all elf themed. I've got my my drow here, which also has yellow eyes, and I got like the starfish face elf as well and i have two more panels that i can do oh look it's bleeding through hmm interesting <laughs> okay so yeah we'll figure something else out for that um and yeah and then we'll do the build thing of this after i get this together i can make that star yellow as well so i could probably do that right now All right. Yeah, this is so awkward trying to like film something at the same time I'm trying to color something or draw something for that matter. There's only happy little accidents. Remember that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you? Good. <laughs> okay, now we got uh, side two. So there's my blue box TARDIS, and I goofed up the little thing on the steps there. It's supposed to draw this line all the way across to that side like to match that side and I messed it up and I just put some like notations there about what to do pull the open telephone inside which doesn't it has a light inside and then what I did with this is this my basically two minute attempt at this <laughs> so, <laughs> it's no Bob Ross so there you go it's just done as fast as I possibly could with what I had, and I'm probably not gonna bother doing the rest of the coloring in because it's like whatever, dude. But yeah, <laughs> I forgot the clouds. <laughs> so legit. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it looks any better. It's turned out pretty good, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. Now we need to put together the water lantern. So come on, sticks. Oh, wait, I'm shaking them out from the wrong side. Nope. There they go. Okay. So you take these steaks, stick them in these holes. There's four holes and four steaks. Go in there. 
and you're pretty much building up the water lantern raft thingamajigger to put the thing around and of course you put this in here but you don't put it you don't turn it on just yet but that's where that goes when you do turn it on and then take this Right. Let's see if I can actually get this on here one handed. Let's see if I can do it. Oh wow. What do you know? It's not folded properly on the other corner, which is kind of weird. And I think it actually sits up higher than it used to, like last year. The, the steaks look a little uh, shorter. But that's kind of how that will work. And then when this is on, all right, so turn that on. Ah, crap. I do apologize for the noise in the background. My sister is here and she has kids. So, yeah. so that's how that'll look. <laughs> all right. And then we'll have, be doing the launch here in a little bit. My sister's dog is. Oh. Okay, she did not tell me that he wasn't. Thor, get up. Thor, come here. Come here. Okay. Alright, these are all yours, man. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, what are all these unique smells, huh? What is that? <laughs> Tug is being so weird. He's like dragging himself across the... <laughs> the dog Elise has is named Blue. That you're talking about? What? Uh, Bodie? Yeah. The one that gets super excited and has that really shrill barking, right? Yeah. Hey. You're gonna lose your. Is that? Oh. Yeah, I got red on my pen. Yeah, I almost didn't find you guys because I didn't know where to look. Remember last year we had the cosplayers in the area, so I just looked for the cosplayers. Yeah, I wonder if it's... Yeah, I wonder if it's the same group, you know? That's funny, too, they're also nearby again. <laughs> Interesting. I decided to add a little bit more to this, so I've got my little star right there. Uh, Pentacle star. It's bigger on the inside. Inside there. <laughs> and it says because bow ties and fezzes are cool. Oh, yeah. so that means we can go down and set them out on the water. Isn't that cool? Does that mean what that means for? <laughs> Okay, so now we're going down to uh, launch our lanterns. As you can tell, I've already turned on the glowy little light. And I have my little ducky I'm going to toss out in the water somewhere. It'd be funny if we could get it to land inside of another lantern. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, what do you think is a good spot? Yeah, it's like the TARDIS has its lights on. <laughs> yeah. The doctor is about ready to leave, right? <laughs> yeah, it's turned out pretty good, too. Yeah. Kind of like, yeah, it's pretty neat. I think the dragonfly one is the best. Yeah, same here. I like how the, the light makes it glow like that, you know? Yeah, the little fireflies. Yeah. Oh, that one got stuck. Oh, 
going on? There's yeah, a lot of floats in here. So, um, we'll that one's got a blue light in it. Yeah. A lot of them are coming towards this way, so let's go. Okay, there's ducks out there too. Hard to see the ducks on this camera. But you can you probably see them better on yours. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot better. There's like just a cluster of people right over there. Nope, that wasn't mine. Somebody's got a Kimmy Yeah, I wonder what that one's from. Mine's, mine's the Kim Possible thing in Final Fantasy. I do. It's like they're all going to be migrating over that. Yeah, it looks like they are. Well, everyone clustered over there. We couldn't. Yeah, kind of got to go where there's whether you think there's room, you know. Taking it away, it wasn't like that last year already. They just kind of grouped and they're just grouping down there, but they're going. All right, um, I guess now it's time for this guy to go on his journey. <laughs> oh, here, um, I know, I think I'll truck, I say, chuck him that way, you think, maybe. Dang. All right. See if I can land land it in one. All right. Ah. Oh, didn't land in the lantern. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's all sideways. You can see him down there. <laughs> Not a very well made rubber ducky. So that was the Denver Water Lantern Festival that was in Thornton, Colorado, not Denver. I guess it's because it's Denver metro area. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you decide to go, definitely worth checking out. A uh, lot of activities, as you can see, a lot of people. And they switched the side for the lakes wrong. Because originally the launch lake was the one that was on the opposite side of the bridge. And this time they did it on the smaller side for whatever reason that might have something to do with maybe they could accommodate a, a more people i'm guessing because on the other side there's a really there's a trail that goes around the lake and that's really it and there's actually a lot more places to sit on the other side so that could be why they did that also uh these wristbands that came with the with the kit these are one-time use wristbands so this plastic piece on the bottom here you push this forward and it'll cinch up onto your wrist and once it's on you can't pull this black piece back out because there's some plastic teeth in there that are pushing against the fabric preventing you from taking it off unless you have the proper tools on how to do it now way you can do this because I was able to do it with mine that's why I was able to get it off and demonstrate for the video is I took a small flathead screwdriver and stuck it down into here where these teeth are but I had to do it from the opposite side because I had to go against the teeth to the back part of the teeth so kind of like how you'd uh, you know open a zip tie without actually cutting the zip tie similar method you just 
take a screwdriver, stick it in here where these teeth are going to be pushed up against this plastic piece, and then this just pulls right off. So that's how I got that off. And yeah, so if you want to save these and don't want to cut them, find a screwdriver and you can take it off and save it and then reuse it. Alrighty, well, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I will have another video coming out pretty soon because the day after Lantern Fest was the Elizabeth Celtic Festival. And I'd been to that before, like a long time ago, and I got to go again because uh, one of my friends uh, wanted me to come. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll totally check it out. And so the following day, uh, and Sunday we did that too. So there's video coming out for that. And hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you at Dragon Boat. Guess that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you later. Bye.